So now that you have a WordPress account, the next step is going to be to customize your uh, blog, your site. Um, so there's a lot of different things. Part of the reason I love WordPress so much is that there's a lot of different things that you can do to customize your site. It's really cool. So you can click on customize your site and it's going to give you a bunch of options um, that you can do to customize your site. I'm going to give you more of these options as well as we go along um, on our, on our um, uh, course. So first of all, what you'll notice up here is it's um, the name of my blog is socksareawesome.wordpress.com. Uh, that's great for the URL, but for the actual name of the blog, it's not so great. So that's the first thing I'm going to change. So what you're going to change is something called the site title, and we're going to change it to Socks Are Awesome. And now that's a lot more user friendly. And then the other thing that you can do is you can choose a tagline for your site. So you can say um, a blog dedicated to the love of socks because who doesn't love socks right um, and you can have it display that header text or you can unclick that button and say don't display it the reason why you would not want to display it is if you have a customized header up here and I'm going to show you that in a second you can add a logo if you have one um, so I'm just going to save that and we'll move along so that's at the very top um, the next thing that you can do here is you can create, this is your menu bar right here, and you can create an entire menu. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a future um, uh, post, in a future video, not right now. But just to let you know, this is where your menu is, and you can change that. Um, now, let's have a look at colors and backgrounds. Um, the background color uh, is just the default background color, which is white, basically. You have two options here. You can choose an image that you can upload into here and then it will become your background image. So you just go in and you hit select files and you can choose an image. Um, I don't have anything that's sort of nice. Let's just use this one for now. But it would be an image of socks, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Um, and choose that. And then what it'll do is it'll create that as a background image on your site. Um, and it will, uh, you can have some options on there. You can tile it, you can repeat it if you want. You can have it just in one position. There's lots of different images there that you can choose. The other option that you can choose is you can choose a background color for your site instead um, and say, I want it to be this color in the background. So those are a couple of options that you can have uh, for your site right there. Now, let's go back. Um, in terms of fonts, you have a few choices, but not a ton. Um, you can go through here and you can choose um, a, a different font for your site if you want. Um, you can play around with that um, and have some fun with it if you like, okay? Now, next up, let's have a look at the header image. So I'm going to show you how to create a header um, in a separate video. Um, and once you've created that header, all you have to do is come to here under your header image and click add new image. And then you'll be able to pull it from your, um, from your, uh, wherever you saved it from. Um, and the header image again is going to go right up here. And it sort of is something that helps to make your um, blog look more uh, professional. Uh, menus, again, I'm going to come back to this later. I'm going to skip this and come back to it later in a different um, video. Widgets, the same. And uh, the static front page allows you to, if you like, display a static page on your blog so that when people come to your site, to your blog, they'll always see exactly the same thing. If you don't, if you choose your latest post, what they'll see is they'll see your most recent blog post, which is the sort of the default and the one that most people choose. However, some people like to have um, a, a description of what it is that their blog is about uh, on their front page. And in that case, you would choose a static page. Now, these options that I'm showing you here are gonna be slightly different depending on which theme you choose. Some themes 
um, will have these options. Some themes will not have these options. So just be aware if you uh, are seeing something in here that you really like and your theme doesn't have it, you may wanna go back and choose a different theme. So I'm just gonna hit save and publish and then I'm gonna X this out and make it go away. And then we have now uh, finished customizing our site.